Hey guys, we are at, where are we? We're at the doctor's. At the doctor's, we're at the pediatrician. Why are we at the doctor's office? To get me checked. She's a little bit afraid of the elevator. I am. <laughs> you don't like elevators? Kind of. Why not? I feel like they're going to fall to the bottom. Oh, you're going to fall to your death in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Mostly. Hey, so why were we at the doctor's? Check on you. To check on you? To check on you what? Are you sick? No. No? I'm you, having problems. You're having problems? What are your problems? Um, sleeping. Sleeping? That's the only one I know. Oh no, you dropped porkachor! 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 What about my headache? Yeah, I... Is it, gra grandma, I grandma has chewable aspirin. So we'll get a chewable aspirin from Grandma. Okay? Chewable children's aspirin. Okay, I'm going to get in the car. No. Aw. Uh, what will I do then? You'll sit and you'll look out the window and you'll use your imagination. No! Oh no! It's the end of the world! Oh! Oh! Oh no! You're annoying. You know what the problem was? Why we were at the doctor's? Mm -mm. Uh uh. Can you say depression? Depression. Can you say anxiety? Anxiety. Depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. We were doing an evaluation, huh? Do you have a drink? I have Dr. Pepper. Can I have a tiny sip of it? No. Mm. So we are done at the doctor's office, finally. We were here for two hours, almost two hours. Her appointment started at 4.40 and it is now 6.30. And we are done now. We were here for, what did I call it? Do you remember? An hour? Two hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you remember what your appointment was called? Depression. <laughs> Depression. Well, that's, that's, that's what we were here. It's an evaluation. Oh. We were here to, to do an evaluation on Valletta. <laughs> um, she's been dealing with some stuff lately. And... Uh, a lot of it, I think, stems from um, the shutdowns and the pandemic and all that. But these are not new problems. These are things that we've been seeing develop in her over the last couple of years. So we finally said... I'm surprised I'm still alive. You're surprised you're still alive. I'm not. Um, it got to the, it's gotten to the point where we said, you know what, I think we need to get the pediatrician involved and see what he says. And so we, say about it? <laughs> the only reason she doesn't know what he said about it is because she was playing with my phone the whole time and my eye burns. I'm going to use my uh, mask here because my eye really does burn. I hate it when this happens. Um, if I, I had my diaper bag, I'd get a throw. wet one. It's okay. We'll we'll be at Grandma's house in just a couple of minutes. No, oh, bleh. So what the doctor said was that. I've been a runny nose lately. Yeah, it happens. So what, Grand oh, Grandpa? I'm sorry. I was just looking at a bunch of old men on the side of the road. Um, what the doctor was saying was that um, the. That depression and anxiety uh, are absolutely treatable, and it doesn't necessarily take medication. In fact, if you take the right steps, even even on medication, they have seen people be able to stop their medications and completely turn their lives around uh, from having debilitating anxiety and depression. Um, you know, suicide attempts and all that to being able to have a job and function and um, and give up the medications because they took the right steps to treat their depression and anxiety. Um, he said that the medication that people take for depression and anxiety is a Band-Aid. 
Do you know what a Band-Aid is, Valletta? Uh-huh. What's a Band-Aid? Some, something that you can put over um, your alley when it's bleeding. Okay, so it, it just covers it up, right? So it doesn't keep bleeding. Yeah, so it doesn't keep bleeding. It just, it just covers it up, though, right? Like, it doesn't make it heal, right? It doesn't, it doesn't make the owie go away. It just covers it up so that it doesn't get infected. Until it dries and makes it so blood doesn't run out. Well, it's, it's, it's a covering, so it stops. Well, yeah, it, it can stem the flow of blood, too. Um, but, it can, but it also, uh, I say it covers it up, okay? Um... And with depression and anxiety, the medications, all they do have a place. They do have their place. But that people with depression and anxiety who are on medication, the depression and anxiety do not go away with medication. And what you ideally want is to be doing things and making changes that are going to heal the depression and anxiety, to, to make it better so that you don't have the problem anymore not just to cover it up with pills you know so what the doctor told me Valletta you what the doctor said was you're not you're not to a point where uh, can't see my face. I can't see your face. Now you can. You're not to a point where medication is necessary, okay? But we need to start making some changes to help your depression and anxiety get better, okay? Did you hear any of the suggestions that the doctor made? No. Okay. So he said that there are a few things that we can do to help to help it get better okay and these are things that my doctor told me that I need to be doing too so he said that exercise physical activity will help it get better um but my but Alita doesn't help. Only Clark's the one that does it. It makes me sad because none of the other... But Alita, but Alita started cross-country, didn't she? And so Alita needs some support from us with her cross-country. She's, she's kind of struggling with it a little bit, isn't she? I asked the doctor if it's appropriate for us to... Um, if it's appropriate for us to have you and Clark go running with me and Alita. Because Alita and I both suck at it anyway. So it's not like we're going to go fast or far. But I, but I asked him if it would be appropriate. Because I don't want to have you guys do things that you're too little to do. Okay? You want to know what he said? What? He said yes. Valletta... Did you do that today? I hope so. He said Valletta and Clark are definitely old enough to go running with you. So you and Clark are old enough to go running. Bruce is the only one that has to be pushed in a stroller. And I'll probably hear some belly aching and some whining and complaining after like a couple but of blocks. we take rests? Yes. First we're gonna bring... And a, we bring water soda. bottles. Water bottles. Soda. Water. Soda. Water. A soda. Water. So, soda or water. Well, he also said that we need to kind of cut out Cut, cut, well, I say cut out, cut down on our sugar. He said, during the week, we should be trying to eat. So we have to get healthy? Yeah. So we have to eat healthy food? Uh-huh. He said that. So no snacks? Not no snacks. Healthy snacks. He also said, though, that they find that it's really useful if you don't do it all the time. So if like you're healthy during the week and then on weekends you can just kind of eat whatever but what will carry our water the stroller so Bruce is coming yeah we can't leave him alone we're gonna have people here well yeah at grandma's house but what about when we're at home 
So, Valetta Pearl. Can we go for a job, like here? Yeah, we can. Yay. But here's what I'm getting at. Physical activity, changing up your normal routine, cutting out the TV. What does that mean? No TV. No TV. It doesn't mean necessarily none at all. It means not waking up in the morning and the first thing is having TV. It means getting home from school and the first thing you do is not TV. Mm. Um, Eating healthier. That means more healthy meat and fruits. Are you saying I'm fat? No. I'm saying you have depression and anxiety. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. What's anxiety? Anxiety is those tummy aches that you've been getting at school. It's feeling nervous and feeling worried. It's that it's that feeling of worry that you get, okay? But that changing these things has been shown to help even people with even the most serious cases of depression and anxiety. And if it can help people, like it could even help Uncle Richard, you know? But we have to make the changes. We can't just talk about it. Like we actually have to do it, huh? Mm-hmm. That's the thing. That's probably the hardest part. Huh? Mm -hmm. He also gave me some really interesting ideas for punishments. Hmm. He said, instead of like a punishment, you get a warning. Like strike one, strike two, strike three, you're out. Okay. You get to strike three, or if you're doing something particularly, like, you should, really shouldn't be doing it, you know, that uh, what he has his kids do is they do push-ups or jumping jacks. When they start fighting, mm. when they start fighting with each other, he has them do exercise. I don't want to do exercise. Well, it's that or hot sauce on your tongue. Which one would you prefer? Exercise. I thought so. Because if you really don't want to do exercise, I'll give you a choice. You either do push-ups or, or jumping jacks, or you get hot sauce on your tongue. Does that sound fair? If you yeah. if you won't do the exercise, you get the hot sauce on your tongue. Okay? That gives you options. All right? But he said that, you know, if we try as a family to be healthier, eat better, get more exercise... And change it up a little bit so we don't have TV time quite as often. This is my normal face. Hmm. That is your normal face. Hello, normal face. Does that sound like things we can do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. First, we're going to go on a jog. Yes, we are going to go on a jog. Today. Yep. We'll and I will, I will actually... We will meet you guys there. We will meet you guys there. We're gonna we're Pikachu we're pet. and Pikachu. Pikachu is her reward for going to the doctor. So make sure you like the video. Like the smash button, subscribe, and bell the notification ring. Click you, the bell. You said it all wrong. I know I did. That's what I've been doing. Like, comment, and subscribe, right? And click the bell. And uh in the comments below, show her a little bit of support. And Alita. Show Alita a little bit of support, too. Don't. <laughs> you can chew cat don't. Right No, I said don't. But let them know they can do it. Um, show them some encouragement and support. I'm going to take your Dr. Pepper. And she's going to steal my Dr. Pepper. Bye, guys. Bye.